Back to your real time forecast, Rob. We have some warmer temps ahead but just for a little while. Yeah, I think that we're going to see this up and down pattern for the next several days. Clear skies for the most part are going to continue. The one thing I've noticed and what we're expecting so we can get into our warm up is for these winds to start to switch around to the south and west and we're already seeing that for many of the locations and that means we're going to start to tap into some of that warmer air. It's very light. So overall, if that remains light, I think our temperatures will continue to slide. We're into the 40s. It may hold us from getting into the 30s for a few locations. A wide variety of temperatures temperatures, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, anywhere from the low 40s to the low 50s. I think we'll see our temperatures start right around 45 degrees or so, give or take a few degrees either side of that. We'll put 46 on the graphic for the city, but just know that the city will stay a little bit warmer and the winds are going to remain relatively light. Outside of the city, you should be able to get temperatures into the 40s. There may be a few upper 30s, but I think over the next several days, a warming trend is what we're expecting and it will happen tomorrow. The sunshine is certainly going to help to warm us up and it will certainly feel nice for tomorrow. Should be a very nice looking day. That southwest wind will kick in, not necessarily a terribly strong wind, not as strong as it was, say, yesterday, but it should be able to get us into the upper 60s. This is going to be a little bit above the average for where we should be for this time of year. Average highs about 63. I think we'll do into the upper 60s to right near 70 degrees. I had to put a number on. I'd put 70 for the city, but you go a little farther to the south and west, and some mid-70s will certainly be possible. There is a lot more warm air tapped into uh, the south and west of us that we're going to see or we're going to tap into to finally help our temperatures begin to climb just a little bit. Some of the new data that's been coming in suggests that maybe these temperatures are a bit on the lower side. 74 tomorrow, southwest winds keeping us uh, sunny and dry. Notice what happens by Tuesday, though. The difference is very, very subtle. Just added a little cloud. That's about it. Just let you know there's a little bit more moisture into the forecast. So we'll go from full sunshine like we saw today. A couple of more clouds for Tuesday. By the time we get into Wednesday, we'll see a lot more of that moisture move in. Here's satellite and radar tracker again, starting with the wide view because there's not a lot that's going to happen. Monday, clear skies. By the time we get into Tuesday, there's a few of the clouds that'll move through. And I think most of these are just going to be some of those high thin clouds that you'll see. By the time we get into Wednesday, we will start to notice a little bit more moisture move our way. It's not a lot, and I think the early part of the day we're still trying to overcome some of that dry air, but I think by the time we get into late Wednesday, some of this may move our way, but because the dry air is a lot to overcome, the rain chances just don't look very high. I'll put them in about maybe the 20 to maybe 30 percent range for Wednesday and Thursday. But this is going to be our pattern changer. This is what's going to take us from some very warm days for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and drop us down into the 60s and 50s for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Unfortunately, to change the pattern from this very dry and warm atmosphere that we're going to be in to a much more fall like atmosphere, you got to come with a little bit of rain and I think we're going to see that in our seven day forecast. So next couple of days after overnight lows tonight into the 40s. We'll do 50s for a few nights. The 70s will stay with us through Wednesday. That chance for rain on Wednesday. I know the icon here may be a little bit overpowering, but most of that's going to be later in the day. You're probably going to see some sunshine the early part of your Wednesday. Kind of do the same thing on Thursday. Chance of showers is there, but I really think it's going to be early in the day. After that, it's a very fall like forecast from Friday all the way heading into the weekend. Overnight lows will drop right around to 40, but keep in mind this is a city centric forecast, so you know there are going to be some locations that get into the 30s. I don't know that we'll necessarily see any frost out there, Jim, but it is certainly going to feel a lot more like fall even next weekend than what it felt like this weekend. Pull out that jacket. Yeah. Thanks, Rob. You